Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add this design as the home page of your Blogger website. Now, if you want to learn how to design this from scratch using HTML, CSS and JavaScript, I have videos on that. You can go ahead and check them out. And uh, this is also responsive. So if I just decrease the width of the screen, here we can see this is how the mobile version looks. And we also have this menu button over here. And if I click on that, we have the mobile navigation menu displayed over here. And if you click on this close button, it goes back. So this is what we're going to add as the home page of our blogger website. So let's get started. Right here, I'm in the dashboard of my blogger website and I'm using this theme called Contempo Lite. It comes by default with blogger over here. Now, if you're using a different theme, you can use the same method that I used in this video to customize that theme. And you just need to select different classes based on the theme. Right, the first thing we need to do is we need to set a custom page as a home page. So right now if we click on view blog, we can see this is the home page of our website. Now we want to have a custom home page. So for that let's go back to our dashboard and let's click on pages and let's create a new page. So let's click on new page. I'll just give it a title of home and let's type something over here. I'll just type testing and let's click on publish and confirm. Right now if you click on this uh, view button we can see this is how the page looks right now so we want to have this page as uh, the home page of our website so let's copy this URL from here and uh, let's go back to our dashboard and let's go to settings and let's scroll down and find an option called custom redirects so let's click on this and here you can click on add and for from I'll just type forward slash because this is the home page and here for two we have to paste the link of our home page so let's paste the link over here and we don't need to paste the whole link we just need to paste from forward slash p forward slash home three dot html so I'll just cut everything from here and let's click on permanent and ok and let's click on save and now here we can see we have one custom redirect so let's click on this and uh, let's click on it once more and here we have two forward slashes so I'll just delete one of them. Alright, let's click on OK and save. Let's click on it once more and everything looks alright. Right now let's go to the home page. So let's uh, delete this from here. And uh, let's press enter. And here we can see we are redirected to the custom home page that we created. So now whenever someone goes to the home page of our website, they'll be redirected to this custom home page that we just created. Right now the next thing we need to do is we need to change the design of this home page and make it look like this. So the first thing we will do is we will remove all the unnecessary elements from here. So first of all let's remove this popular post widget from here. So let's right click over here and click on inspect. So here we can see we have this division with the class of popular posts. So let's click on this and here is the selector of this element. And uh, here if I just type display none. Now we can see that the popular post widget is not being displayed. So let's copy this selector and let's go back to our page. So let's go to pages and click on this page. And here we'll just create a style tag. And in this style tag we will add all the CSS. So let's paste the selector over here. And here I'll just type display and set it to none. And now if I update this and if I go back to the page and if I refresh this page now we can see that the popular post widget is not being displayed over here. In the same way let's hide all the other elements. So we need to hide all these elements except testing. So the next thing we will hide is this footer. So let's right click over here and click on inspect. And this is the footer. So here we can see we have the selector of the footer. So let's copy this. And here also I'll just type display of none so that we can see it over here live. So I'll just type display of none. And now we can see that the footer is not being displayed. So let's copy this selector and let's paste it over here inside this page. So here I'll just add a comma and I'll just paste it over here. Now I'm not going to update this page every time and test it over here. We'll just assume that it is working. So let's go ahead and hide the next element. Let's hide this comment. So I'll just right click over here and click on inspect. And let's scroll up and uh, let's go to the parent division. So here we have the parent division. We have a section with a class of comments and we also have an ID of comments. 
so let's get the selector here we have the selector comments so I'll just type display of none and now we can see that the comments are hidden so let's copy this selector and uh, let's paste it over here I'll just add a comma and paste it over here All right now the next thing we will do is uh, hide this uh, header so let's right click over here and click on inspect and uh, let's scroll up and uh, so here we can see we have this header with the class of centered top container so let's copy this class let's go back to our page and uh, let's paste it over here so I'll just tap header and uh, we have a class of centered top container and we'll also hide this element over here in the inspector so here I'll just type display of none right now the next thing we will hide is this title so let's scroll down and let's see what is the selector for the title let's just right click over here and inspect so here we can see we have this s3 with the class of post title so let's copy this class from here or we can just copy this selector so I'll just copy this and here also I'll just type display of none and let's go back to the page and uh, I'll just paste it over here I'll just add a comma and paste the selector all right now let's go back to our page and uh, let's hide this share button so let's right click over here and inspect so let's scroll up and find the parent division so it is this division with the class of post share buttons so I'll just type display of none over here and we can see that the button has been hidden so let's copy this selector and uh, let's paste it over here All right now let's go back and uh, let's hide this background image so let's right click over here and click on inspect and here we can see we have bg photo container and bg photo overlay so let's hide both of these so let's copy this selector and uh, let's paste it over here and let's add a comma and uh, the next selector that we had was bg photo overlay so I'll just type overlay over here right now let's update this and uh, let's go back to our home page and let's see whether everything looks all right so let's refresh this page and here we can see everything looks all right we don't have any other elements beside this text all right now the next thing we need to do is we need to remove the padding and the margin of all the elements so let's right click over here and click on inspect and first of all here we can see we have this margin for post body so here we can see we have a margin of 1.5 m and 2 so we have to set the margin to 0 so I'll just type margin 0 over here and now we can see that the margin has been removed so let's copy this selector and let's go back and paste it over here and uh, here I'll just type margin 0 let's go back to our home page and let's go to the inspector and let's find some other elements so let's start with the post outer container and here we can see we have some padding for the post outer container we can see the green border around the element so let's scroll down and here we can see we have a padding of 30 and 40 pixels so we have to set the padding to 0 right now let's copy this selector and uh, let's paste it over here in the page we have to create a new block over here because this is for the padding so I'll just have padding 0 All right let's go back to the inspector right now let's go to the next element and uh, for the post outer here we can see we have some padding bottom so here we can see we have a padding bottom of 0 0.25 m so here also we have to type padding 0 and let's copy this selector and uh, let's paste it over here so we have removed the padding so I'll just paste it over here all right let's go back right now let's scroll up and find the other elements first of all here we can see for this division with the class of centered we have a padding top here we can see we have a padding of 24 pixels for the top and 24 pixels for the bottom and we also have a max width of 922 pixels so we have to reset these two properties so let's set the padding to 0 and we'll also set the max width to 100 percent so let's copy this selector and let's go back to our page and we had removed the padding so I'll just add it over here and we also need to set the max width to 100% so I'll just paste it over here as well and here I'll just type max width of 100% alright now the next element that we have over here is this main with a class of center bottom and here we can see we have a padding of 0 16 pixels for centered bottom so I'll just type padding 0 over here 
and let's also copy the selector and let's go back to our page and let's paste it over here right now let's scroll down and the next thing we have over here is this widget so we have this division with the class of widget and here we can see it has a margin bottom of 16 pixels so we have to set the margin to 0 so let's copy this selector and paste it over here for the margin right now let's go back and uh, let's see what else we have and I think that's it with all the elements so let's go ahead and add our design to this page now so let's go back to our page and uh, here we will add the CSS of our design so let's go to the source code of our design and I will leave the link of the source code in the description so first of all let's copy this CSS so I'll just copy everything from here and uh, let's paste it inside the page so I'll just paste it over here right now the next thing we will do is add the HTML so I'll just make some space over here and I'll just remove this text from here and uh, let's go back to our source code let's go to the HTML file and first of all we need to copy the link of font awesome and the fonts that we use so let's copy all of this from here so this is inside the head section so let's copy all of this and paste it over here and uh, now let's go back and uh, I'll just copy everything inside the body so let's copy everything from the start of this division all the way to the end so copy it till here and uh, let's paste it over here inside the page and we also need to add the JavaScript so I'll just create a script tag over here and here in the script tag we will add the JavaScript so let's go back to our source code and let's go to the main.js file and I'll just copy everything from here and paste it over here now you can change this text to whatever you want so these are the menu items you can change them to whatever you want over here in place of home blog about and contact and you can just add the link of your page over here so here in place of this hash you can just add the link of the about page so in this way you can customize this page to your needs and uh, then here we can see we have these icons for Facebook Instagram and uh, Pinterest you can change these to whatever you want these are font awesome icons and uh, this is the main text so here we can see we have this heading and this paragraph and this button you can change them to whatever you want and then if you scroll up we can see that we have the video so this is the background video that we see over here so you can change the video to whatever you want now in blogger you can upload a video by clicking on this insert video button and uploading from your computer but when you do this you don't get the link of the video so here we can see we want to have the link of the video so what we will do is we will upload the video inside a service called cloudinary so you can go to this website called cloudinary.com and just create a free account and then just log in and go to media library and here we can see we have these two sample images and we have a lot of options over here but the main option that we want is this option called copy URL so it is also right here so let's upload our video into cloudinary let's click on upload and browse and this is our video so let's click on this video and click on open and here we can see our video has been uploaded so let's click on this button to copy the URL and let's go back to our page and uh, let's paste the URL over here in place of this videos forward slash bg mp4 right now let's click on update and let's go back to the page and let's refresh this page and here we can see that the design is being displayed over here but we have some problems in the heading and the paragraph so let's right click over here and let's see what is the problem let's inspect and uh, if we scroll down we can see here we have a line height of 1.6 m for post body so we have to remove the line height so let's copy this selector and let's go back to our page and uh, here in the CSS I'll just type page body line height and uh, let's set it to unset right now let's update this and let's go back to our home page and let's refresh this page and now we can see everything looks alright we don't have any problems let's also open the mobile version so let's reduce the screen width and uh, here we can see we have some problems so let's right click over here and uh, inspect 
and here we can see we have some styling for this media query of max width 800 so let's copy this selector from here because here we can see we have this padding so we have to remove this padding so let's copy this selector and let's go back to our post and uh, I'll just paste it over here for the padding all right now let's click on update and let's go back to our home page and let's refresh this page and now we can see we don't have any problems and let's click on this menu button and we have the menu displayed over here and let's click on this close button and everything is working all right so that's basically how you add a custom home page to your blogger website all right that's it for this video i will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video and if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day